There are different types of Wi-Fi interference sources. Mainly there are two types, one due to non-Wi-Fi devices, non-Wi-Fi sources and the other one is due to Wi-Fi sources, right? Means another Wi-Fi is creating problem for our Wi-Fi. And non-Wi-Fi sources means that other devices like microwaves, cameras, cordless phones, they are creating problem with our Wi-Fi router or with our Wi-Fi network. So three types, non-Wi-Fi sources means microwaves, analog cameras, cordless phones, or any other type of device like baby cameras, all of that, Bluetooth devices, garage openers. So all of those devices, they are creating problem because usually they use 2.4 gigahertz. So it competes with our Wi-Fi. If let's say our Wi-Fi is working on channel number one of 2.4, then they are also working sometime on first channel of 2.4. There will be a problem when you will run your microwave. So this is a common cause, but usually we don't, uh, we don't pay attention and we ignore this one. So you need to check your spectrum that, for example, you can turn on and then you can see that which Wi-Fi's are giving you signals. You can run spectrum analyzer or any other source or any other software. Then there are Wi-Fi noise sources means our Wi-Fi is being disturbed, our home Wi-Fi or office Wi-Fi, because there is another Wi-Fi router in our neighbor's home, which is creating problem. Or even within our home, there is another Wi-Fi router or another access point or other source of the same frequency, same channel. So if it is due to same channel, it is called as co-channel. When two access points within a network are on the same channel, let's say I am running my Wi-Fi or my access point on channel number three of 2.4 gigahertz. And my neighbor is also running the same channel, same frequency band. So of course it will collide, it will create problem for me. This is called co-channel. The other one is called as adjacent channel interference. Remember in we discussed in 2.4 gigahertz that there are channels which are overlapping with each other. Let's say I am running my Wi-Fi on two 0.4 gigahertz channel number one and my neighbor is running on channel number two of course you can see that most of the portion of channel one and channel two they are overlapped so we need to find a free band we need to find a free channel which is not colliding and i have explained all of this that how we can find a free channel we also went through this wi-fi analyzers i gave you the demonstration please watch that part of this wireless LAN series, this Wi-Fi series, you will understand everything, right? So different type of interference sources and we have to make sure that our Wi-Fi is not affected by any of these so that we get good signal and we get good speed as well.